welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited to be back with another eye look tutorial for you guys today. I will be showing you guys how I achieved this purple halo eye look. So if you guys like to see how I achieved this look right here, then just go ahead and keep on watching. First thing I'm doing is priming my eyes. I like to prime with concealer and then set everything into place with translucent powder. I just feel like this is the best way that my shadow holds up and it kind of gives me a lighter base so that every shadow that I apply over top pops a little bit more. So for today's palette, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 3 palette and I'm going into this very neutral transition color first and I am doing a rounded eye look today so I'm just following the natural curve of my crease Next, I'm going into this shade called B4 and I'm going into my angled brush and I'm just going to apply a line of definition into my crease going all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner and I am going slightly above my natural crease. I want to give myself a little bit more lid space and I am just making this line as even as possible and then I'm going to be going into a fluffy tapered brush and our first transition color and I'm just going in left right motions to diffuse that line. We're going to slowly build a gradient. Next, I'm going into the shade C4 with my really sharp angled brush and we're going to apply this in the crease exactly where we applied our first line and the shade is a little bit darker so it's going to give us a little bit more depth. So yeah, just drawing this all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner once again and then I'm going to be going into an even smaller tapered brush and just diffusing this line out. And just kind of keeping the shadow as low as possible, but once again, slowly building the gradient. So once we have our crease fully blended, I'm going into my angled brush and my concealer and I'm just starting to carve my lid and also applying this on my lid as well and then setting everything into place with some translucent powder. For the lid shade, I'm going to be going into my Too Faced Glitter Balm palette and I'm going into this shade right here called Hot Damn and we're just going to be ap applying this just to the very center of the lid. I'm going back into my really, really small tapered brush and I'm going back into that purple shade and we're just going to apply this to the inner and outer corner, focusing mo majority of the pigment on those very outer corners and then just doing drag dragging inward motions to blend that shadow into that lid shade. Now I'm going to be picking up my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Glitter and I'm just going to be applying this to the very center of my lid. I applied a line of glitter glue first. I went into my NYX glitter glue and just applied this glitter directly over top of it. So next I felt like I could have blended those outer corners into the lid a little bit more so I'm just touching up on that 
and then I'm gonna be going into a pencil brush and going into that darker shade that we applied in the crease and just applying that to the very outer and inner corners just to uh, give this look a little bit more dimension. So after I've peeled off my tape, I'm just applying my Shop Sophie Bella Barbados lashes and the link for our lashes will always be in the description box down below. And then I'm going into our first transition color and just applying that to my lower lash line. And then I'm going into my Mad Lash Mascara by The Balm and coating my lower lashes. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going into my Pixie Beauty Subtle Sunrise Highlight. And this is the finished look right here. If you watch this video to the very end, thank you so much for supporting our channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!